reparations for blacks. And yeah, I guess there were a few whites who were slaves as well. It's absolutely imperative. And I'm going to do the best I can to briefly explain why, you know, in my, in my, my last name, in my family, I don't know all this stuff. Okay. But you know, you see Vanna. Okay. It's W E R N E R. I guess we came from Germany, maybe some England in there. I've heard some Italian in there and all that stuff. So I don't know how much we had to do with regard to this ownership of slaves, but there's something going on. Okay. Um, at least in the mentality of people in my neighborhood, North Olmsted, Ohio, Lakewood, Ohio, those two areas where I was raised. And I'm so thankful that I went to Cleveland State University, which is a place where I was, as a white man, was a minority. In Cleveland, Ohio, obviously, thank God we have more blacks and whites also. So I've seen it, you know, at the basketball courts, Village Green, Olmstead Town, Olmstead Falls, Ohio, and of course I've been running in Olmstead Township for years. And uh, what my biggest issue has been is that my community, you know, um, the things that I hear, the end bombs I hear, you're not going to hear that, you know, with my black friends around, but yeah, I'm around just me, they'll say it, they have no problem with that. And I'll say, well, those people, you know, this, that, crime, blah, 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 blah. Well, first of all, they're, they're jealous. I always say that, but there's still a major issue going on here, okay? And we, the, the issue why we need reparations, it's got to come from the government. Is the issue with regard to, you know, private. Let me just go check on the hot tub. It's, you know, you got to let it go for a while. One of those kind, you know? <laughs> I'm not saying that, okay, fine, if it's just going to be, okay, we're looking pretty good. It's one, you know, I could, uh, whatever. So it's one of those things where, by, okay, fine, the individuals are going to be the way they're going to be. I don't, I don't see us changing that. I don't see an issue with regard to reparations for that, but the government, yes, okay. Um, maybe tax benefits, massive tax benefits, but how? You know, the thing is, you got people like Joe Biden, you got people like, Donald Trump, people talking about this, okay? Well, immediately they just say, no, or yes. They, no, they don't even want to, you don't, you don't even hear them talk about, well, they don't even want to consider it. It's like they don't even want to analyze it or discuss it. Well, when you really look at it, where are we going to be able to, how, who are we going to be targeting here? Obviously, you can tell by the color of their skin, kind of, right? <laughs> it's not really too fair, right, though? But then we go, okay, well, let's look at, let's look at your ancestry line. I mean, a lot of this, we're we going to go back and look at, you know, children, you know, and it's going to get these children back with their biological mother and father. It's very important. It's imperative. Not important. It's imperative. So, you know, it goes along with, with, with family, but this reparations issue, why I'm so big into Black Lives Matter is that I have seen, I, go, and I play at my basketball courts, but basketball has been a big thing for me, and I love how LeBron James, you know, a Clevelander, Akron, okay, but, you know, a Clevelander, He talked a lot about how sport is something he was able to, you know, break through these segregation lines a lot, you know, and, and see how well, one good example he, he brought up was that, you know, he saw how these white people had a pantry and to their, their you know, blacks pantry was on top of the refrigerator, you know, which is it's more my pantry as well, you know, but I guess that's how white communities do that more, you know, they have an actual, like, kind of pantry thing, whereby, I guess, in the black culture, we just put it up on top of the, like, uh, microwave, or, yeah, the, the, uh, I just, I just cut my hair today, so, I might want to get back and get some more spots on top of the fridge, or whatever the case is, but, we do, we really do need to look back, each individual person, our government does, okay, state, and then, okay, so also, another big thing is, is going back and looking at these, um, probate issues, We've really got to, you know, um, study and, and, and research where this stuff is because the government has stolen a lot of money from people, a lot. They've done over a lot of people. And it's not just the segregation issue and uh, discrimination, racism. It's all over the place. They've done people wrong and elder abuse and um, 
people whom are disabled. And I mean, of course, you know, here's, here's, I was a special needs child and I've got, you know, if you, if you watch my other videos. So I think I can, I can speak more of a place whereby I've, I've gone, I've seen this stuff and I, I've seen that the words that people in my community, mostly, you know, if you look at the statistics, you know, Olmstead Township, okay, Ohio, it's like 98.5%. It's like, you know, this, okay. Actually, I know a man, <laughs> Black is his last name, played ball with him in Olmstead Township, uh, Olmstead Falls, uh, you know, the uh, basketball court over there, Village Green. I've seen the things that, I've heard the things that we've said. Okay, I'm fine. They're going to be, they're going to be where they're going to be. But it, the, the problem is the government, the federal government. We can't just take people in and then, okay, well, okay, these people are from Africa, going back to the 1700s, 1800s, and then just force them to do whatever kind of job it is we're going to force them to do and then expect their children's 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 children. And that constitution, by the way, I, I said we're, we're getting rid of that. It's, 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 it's all Star Spangled Banner, 1814, really? This is all under slavery, folks. We got, we got, I mean, how dare anybody even kneel to this thing? I wouldn't even give it, ugh. we need to do more than just need to get rid of it. Where did it ever come from, you know? I mean, well, why are we even we playing this up in any way at sports events? So, this is very near to my heart, okay? I, I, I love, hey man, I'm, I'm all about this. I mean, I know what sexy is, and it starts with black, okay? I'm all about black power, black supremacy, baby. Why? Because, well, let's see, your best basketball player all time, um, golfer, um, tennis players, full female, Venus and Serena. Wow. You know, football player, Jim Brown. I mean, I got to I got to put Jim Brown being you know, a Clevelander, you know, for, ahead of Tom Brady. I don't know who Tom Brady is, right? <laughs> so, you know, black is setting the standard, setting the benchmark for excellence. And the reparations go back to how, how, how was our government yeah, you know, we had our presidents, and you know, every one I've seen in my lifetime has been extremely racist, using blacks as, as like some kind of leverage. So this reparations, we got to go back all the way back, and 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 really, truly love on everybody to look in and their at a person's history. Where did you come from? We got to make the, I make everything fair. You know what I'm saying? Like we're gonna make any kind of court system, which the court systems are just total disaster, joke filthy mess anyway but we got to be fair in this country I, I i i can't take it anymore in this country i, I being from my community and to see the, and hear the things that the people talk about even in my family still and what i've gone through and they, 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 oh my god this is for real y'all so you know when you're talking to joe biden and donald trump they don't even want to like okay well, well let's discuss, discuss these reparations what are we looking at here what can the government do they don't want to get into that they don't want to just okay what? Just they just thought, cut it off. Boom! That's it. No. Talk to me. No, oh, this might sound outrageous that you want to have this thing called, you know, Food and Drug Administration, or wait a minute, you want to have a Securities and Exchange Act? This is you know back in you know 1933, this stuff was un unheard of. I mean, really, Fair Housing Administration. That'd be interesting. I wonder what it would look like. You know. Let's see here. Yeah, like. 79 years from now, 73 years, something like that, 77 years from now. So I wonder what, you know, this Obamacare would look like, you know, in the future. So what would reparations look like 25 years from now, 100 years from now? Let's just, let's just look at this stuff, okay? Let's really do a deep analysis of it, you know? And then immigration issues, too. Let's really just look at it, study it. Maybe, maybe we do need to close the borders completely, you know, and, and to certain groups of people. If they, we're seeing that these people are coming in and just MS-13, whatever it might be. It's just, okay, they're just killing, killing, killing. Well, do we want these people just coming into our country? Eh, maybe, who are they killing? Why are we letting these people in? Because they're, they're targeting certain people that they're killing. Maybe the certain people that are letting them in are the ones that are wanting to do the kind of drugs that, that they're doing and selling, well, yeah, there's all kinds of different things. But as a country, as, as, a, as a society, as a people, a community, so go go back to Luke nineteenth uh, chapter, it's right in the very beginning. Okay, the dude named Zacchaeus, he was a tax collector, and I'm big on this. You know, Jesus Christ said salvation has come to this house. I love that about that scripture and that that area of scripture whereby I, it it really gets my heart. 
salvation. What is salvation? Wholeness. This man said, I'm going to make it right. This tax collector, government guy kind of guy, maybe, you know. We got to make it right. We got to make this right. So everybody feels loved, welcomed in this nation. I know I'm, I'm not because I'm for fairness. I'm for loving everybody. Blacks, whites, and I understand that black lives matter because I know that black lives did not matter. Black lives did not matter. It was all about white, white, white. And now we're going to say, accept the fact that, yeah, black lives do matter. I love it. But this, this wow, just that scripture really got me. It's not just about forgiving. Okay, you forgive, but the way you forgive is you pay back if you feel like you've done somebody over. And I do that a lot in my life. I work in financial services. I'm paying people back for the way we defrauded the government, the way we defrauded investors and shareholders, stupid shareholders of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And of course, you know, the borrowers. And, it, and I'm, st I'm still on that right now. I'm going to expose all the financial fraud. You know, I run my mouth. I have zero tolerance. I run my mouth about illegal drug act. Well, just drug activity, but Ill illegal drugs, okay? I run my mouth. I have zero tolerance. Oh, that pisses people off. I have illegal. I, I, I have um, zero tolerance for illegal drugs. Because I see what it's like in, in families, how, it's, how it really messes people up. That's, you know... Luke first nineteenth uh, chapter first few verses going away to you know like with the in you know, late late teens you know that's Zacchaeus kind of Zacchaeus Zacchaeus whatever kind of stuff and we got to really look at this though and I mean I'm I'm just touching the skim of the surface right now just skimming it you know right now there's so much this is so deep there's so much into this I see how the, the racism is like so extreme in the government and in, in the courts. Amongst the police, the police, by the way, that was set up under ra under racist slavery. There were only not there were some black, you know, masters and slave owners, but mostly whites. Hello. So we're gonna be doing this reparations now. I, I had a, I had I had difficulty saying this, and I'm glad that this has been coming out more now. You know in 2020 but and today's what the 15th already of august but going back you know to when i was at cleveland state university 2000 2001 two three and of course i ran for congress i was weak i was scared i'm saying it now